So here we are at Robert Thomas Art. It is Thursday afternoon, and my father Robert is going to be working on this beautiful masterpiece. How big is this one, Dad? You know, I haven't even measured it. <laughs> I haven't even measured it? It's probably 40 by 50, something like that. All right, and what was your inspiration? Kilauea. Kilauea in the 90s. I filmed it all the way from 1972, so when it was actually erupting at the top in the crater. And then, as the years went by, we would uh, drive down Chain of Craters Road, and from the bottom, we can walk right up to it and do some great filming. But presently, in the last two or three years, four or five years, to come off of the National Park and down into uh, county property where the police are the ones that let you get close or stay far away, and they keep you away from it. So they've been keeping us like uh, about a half a mile away from the actual lava. And it's a pretty good idea at this point because a lot of the new flow that as it goes into the ocean, which it's not doing presently, it's getting close, so it's about a half mile away, a little more than a half mile away. And they take a week and a half or two weeks to get to the ocean. But this last flow has been explosive. So what will happen is the lava hits the water, then it starts floating and it builds these big density, these big cones. So these cones are evidence that it's an explosive area on land where you don't want to get very close to it. Whereas when it's like this and you're standing, you know, a few feet away, um, at the end of this flow, you can actually stand in front of it three or four feet and it's fine. It's not explosive. It's not dangerous. Tell us about that time that you spent the night videotaping. Well, that was sort of a scary night. Um, I had to be careful saying not dangerous. You know, using caution, as the rangers do out in the park, as much caution as they use, um, you do have to be careful. But the filming is wonderful, and I, I decided to spend the night out there one night with a few of my other friends, and, and then uh, nobody got hurt. But there was about an hour where we lost one of our friends. He went over this cone. So if we were little people right here, and he comes over the over the, he went over the back side of the cone. I got up to about here, and it just scared me because it's so hot. And it was molting over here, going into the ocean. And I just went back and then kept trying to cell phone him. I couldn't get any reception out there. We waited almost an hour and a half. Finally, I said, okay, I'm going to hike up, and I'm going to go wherever he is. I'm not going to have you know, people say, you didn't even try and get him? You know, save him? Walt Furman was his name. You know, he showed him not telling the story. So as I got back up to a little further than where I was, his head popped up, and then he, he, he as he's walking towards me, he, he comes over that hill, and he, he just sat down with me and told me the whole story of what happened to him on this other side near the ocean. And uh, it was a pretty spectacular night, but you always want to keep contact with people and don't get them out of your sight when you're, you're out at a flow in an area that, you know, it's not set up with chains or fences to keep people safe. Great talking with you. So what I'm doing right now with this painting is I've let this area dry already. So this should be fairly dry. It, it is. Now I'm dry brushing. I'm, I've mixed some reds and blues, ultramarine blue, titanium white, and, and uh, one of my reds. Let's see, I'm not sure which one I use, but I use one of my reds. Glitter and crimson. And I just put my brush into it, wipe it out a little bit, get enough paint on it, and then I just give it a, a, a dusting. It's like putting makeup makeup on it, real, real um, gentle. So I want to give the illusion eventually that the steam is coming off of this lava right here. It's very hot. 
steam coming off of it. So how long does a painting this size usually take? Um, well, that's a big painting, so if it was a, a town scene where there was you know, people and trees and plants and flowers and buildings, it could take a month or two. But uh, something pretty simplistic like this, it usually takes less than a week. It doesn't matter the size. It's about as much work doing a small painting as it is a large painting. Just pick up a bigger brush. All right. Well, we're going to keep uh, checking back with you, seeing how the progress is going. And talk to you soon. And what is your name? Oh. <laughs> it's me, Michael. Oh, my son. Okay. <laughs> your son. <laughs> your firstborn child. Uh, no, firstborn son. I guess I'm not the firstborn child. Had a daughter. All right. And tonight I'm going to be in here playing some music on the piano. So if anybody that's watching this uh, right now on my Facebook page or on YouTube uh, is near King Shops by Kaloa, want to come out and say hello? Come on out. This is a cherry blossom. You just finished a couple weekends ago. Beautiful pieces.